Good morning. A couple of years ago, I got my first laptop. That was honestly a pivotal moment in my life. I taught myself how to code on that computer, gain a true love for programming and game dev. It was on this laptop that I even started this very YouTube channel that you're watching. This laptop has traveled the world with me, acting as almost an extension of myself. But you've read the title, you aren't here for my old computer. You want to hear about my new computer. Recently, my brother went off to college to study music and music production, but he was stuck with a stupid Chromebook. Don't even get me started on how horrible Chromebooks are, but anyways. A couple of weeks ago, he shot me a call asking what computer he should get. We talked for quite a while, and after a bunch of discussing, we eventually decided that it would be best if I sold him my old computer and buy myself something new. So I got that new computer ordered in the mail and waited for it to come. While I was waiting for my new computer to come, I knew that my new computer was obviously going to be faster. but. I decided that I wanted a way to actually check how much faster it was going to be in things that mattered to me. Sure I could use a bunch of pre-made benchmarks, but that doesn't test how I actually use my computer. And what's the fun in using a pre-made setup? I'm going to make my own. Let's get to work on that. I'm going to make my benchmark in Unity because that's what I primarily use, at least for now but I need to come up with a setup that's actually gonna push these machines. I decided that I was gonna have a scene set up with a couple of bouncing balls that this was just gonna be a pretty good benchmark in my opinion, and I could increase the amount of balls and whether it was lit or not to get a better idea of the overall performance of the computer. So I got the setups running pretty easily, I borrowed some code to find the FPS and boom, here's a benchmark. For the test I made 16 individual scenes, sizing from a 1x1 one one grid of balls all the way up to a 200x200 200 200 grid, a full 40,000 balls that would be bouncing up and down, both in variations with lighting and without. Right about that time, my new computer had arrived. Okay, my computer just arrived. Let's open it up, let's see how it is. Oh baby girl, look at that beaut. She's a beaut. Look at this view, that starlight color, like you can't even see it, but it's just so slightly gold. Ah, looks so good. Let's open this bad girl up. Iconic apple sound. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what we like to see. My old laptop was an M1 MacBook Air, and I almost had no issues with it. Its performance, battery life, and almost everything about it was exactly what I needed for my use case. But there were just two complaints though. It had an abysmally small internal SSD, only 256 gigabytes, and its screen was a little bit small. This new computer, I opted for a 500 gigabyte SSD, and if you couldn't tell, the screen is much bigger. This new computer was the 15 inch M2 MacBook Air. Its CPU was of course the M2 SoC with 8 CPU cores and 10 GPU cores. It had 8 gigabytes of RAM and it was just a gorgeous machine. Enough gawking over this computer, let's get to testing it. Right off the bat, let's start on the initial tests of my old laptop so we can get a baseline before we test out the new one. So as you can see, there's the current FPS in the top right corner, then after 30 seconds, it'll have the average FPS for that period. And it's staying pretty steady around 220s. 
Moving on to the second one. And it's looking about the same, so we'll see how this scales up. So here at 10 by 10, we're seeing the FPS start to dip. I wonder what this is going to look like in a couple more tests. Okay, for 10 by 10, we got 215. Moving on to 50 by 50. Ooh, this one's dipping hard. We'll see how this turns out. Still pretty smooth, but we're dropping. Okay, that testing went pretty good on the unlit scenes. Let's see how it fares with light. Ooh, much lower already, even with one. We'll see how this fares. Okay, so it looks like we got another 85. I wonder if it's gonna follow the same trend and just drop off at 10 by 10 or 50 by 50. We'll see. Yeah, this is significantly lower, it's just under 60 FPS, but 50 by 50 is a significant amount of balls, as you can clearly tell. <laughs> Three. Well... We're done with this computer, time to move on to my new one. My old computer is still showing some pretty promising results for these tests, and I laid them all out in a spreadsheet. As you can see, it had a pretty consistent performance for all the tests up to the 10x10, where it slightly started dipping, and then the 50x50 where it dropped off quite away, with the last test barely running at all. We can also see that with lighting, the performance is much lower. It still runs at above 60 FPS, but it was a lot closer to that line. Anyways, let's get on to the new computer. Okay, we're on the new computer. Let's see how it rips. Ooh, 300 FPS, that's high. Other one was only running at 224 at this stage, so this is already like 80 frames a second better. Let's see how this goes. This was already running a ton better. Let's see how it all plays out. Two hundred ninety-one, not bad, not bad. We're at five by five, and we're still holding up really good. Moving on to the hundred by hundred. This one was barely running at 60 frames per second on my old computer, so let's see how well it fares. Let's go 200 by 200. This one was running at five frames per second on my old computer. Let's see if we can beat that. Okay, moving on to the lit testing. Oh my goodness, 125? That's a full, like, 40 frames Per second faster than my old computer. That's crazy. Okay, 50 by 50. This is where things start to dip off. That's 10,000, crazy. And it's still got a score of 55. Okay, let's see how this last one fares. Five, so that's better than my old computer. And that's just as good as the one that was unlit. It's crazy conformance. I love this computer. Okay, well, catch you guys 
in the voiceover. The performance on my new computer was much better. It followed much of the same patterns, but everything was a consistent 60 to 70 whole frames faster for the unlit, with the lit scenes being the difference between barely running and running super smooth. What can I say? I was impressed. Of course, I know that this is all very subjective, and this isn't characteristic of every use case in UD. Plus, with most games I make, I don't even come close to maxing out the performance of my machine. But I guess it was just nice knowing that it was a good upgrade. I also ran some Geekbench tests on both computers if that's easier for you to understand. Um, I want you guys to understand that I am not a professional reviewer and that this is not a review. I am a hobby game dev who is hyped up about his new computer and you should not use this video alone to base any purchase. Understand? This is just me testing out my new computer for myself. Thanks for all of you watching this long, it really means a ton to me. I'm sorry that the videos have been less game dev related recently, but I have a couple of really cool projects coming up that I think you guys will have a ton of fun with. If you liked this video then like and subscribe, if you didn't, don't, or whatever. I'm not your mom, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.